Hey Panthers, welcome back to another episode of PTV. I'm Forrest Tuff, and let's get right into today's announcements. Attention freshmen, the Digital Arts and Technology Academy is now accepting applications. You can pick one up in the front office on the counseling counter. The Data Academy takes a small group of students through a series of tech-focused electives while exploring career options and taking field trips. Applications are due February 17th. If you have any questions, go see Mr. Martin in room C8 or email him at rmartin at conejousd.org. The NPHS Talent Show is March 11th and audition and MC forms are now open. Both forms will be open until February 16th. The forms are sent out to your Learn account and are also in the ASG Instagram bio at Newbury Park Panthers. Be sure to fill out all parts of the form. And now, here's Dean with a look at this Sunday's Super Bowl matchup. Hey Panthers, this Sunday, February 13th, the NFL is having their 56th annual Super Bowl championship game. This year's matchup includes the Los Angeles Rams, who will be the away team, and the Cincinnati Bengals, who will be the home team. The big game will be played at SoFi Stadium, which is home to the Rams and the Chargers. Each year, it is played at a different stadium, and this is the second year in a row where a team makes the championship and gets to play in their home stadium. Every year, fans look forward to the halftime show, and this year has a crazy lineup, including Snoop Dogg, Mary J. Blige, Dr. Dre, Eminem, and Kendrick Lamar. Who will be this year's Super Bowl champ? Tune in on Sunday to find out. Back to you, Forrest. National Honor Society applications are now available. Sophomores and juniors with a GPA of at least 3.0 are eligible to apply. You must have leadership experience and service hours. For more information, contact Ms. Alvarez in room E5 or email her at annalvarez at conejousd.org. Have you ever wanted to communicate with someone without having to speak? Here's Dean with a look at our school's ASL program. I've been teaching ASL for six years. So a typical day in ASL, it starts off with uh, Miss C teaching us new vocab, what we learned for the day, go over it a couple times. And then after we've got it down pretty good, then we watch uh, Google Forms with videos, and we uh, you translate them into English. And you know, that takes a pretty long time, and we just learn the signs. And then if you happen to finish early, then you, know, you can practice some, even a little bit more. I signed up to take ASL because I thought it would be cool to be able to speak a language without having to talk. So if like my friend was on the other side of the class, maybe in a different class or something, that I could talk to him without even like, you know, talking to him. I think my favorite part of ASL would just be coming into the class every day and getting to do as much group work as we do, whether it's on the, like, the Google Docs and whatnot, vocab, just practicing. I would recommend ASL to other people because it's, it's a great class. Teacher, phenomenal, you know. And on top of that, it's just interesting. I think that you should take ASL because more colleges are accepting it as a foreign language. It's different than other languages because it is a physical language and it is a visual language. So maybe that would be better for some learners. I also think that it is nice when you meet somebody who knows sign language to be able to talk to them in their um, native language or a language that is more accessible to, to that person. If you are interested in taking ASL, make sure to talk to your counselor when we start class registration. Now, let's head over to Michael with an update on this week's sports. Hey Panthers, it is time to look back at what has happened with sports this past week. Last Saturday, boys basketball finished their season on a high note, pulling off a huge victory against Agora 50-48. A huge congratulations to Colin Solomon, who won one mile run at the Dr. Sander Invitational Columbia Challenge. He completed the run in an astounding 3 minutes and 58 seconds, which is the third fastest mile run by a high school athlete and the fourth high school runner that has completed the mile in under 4 minutes. In other exciting news, three of our sports programs begin their seasons this week with baseball playing St. Francis on Saturday at 11 a.m., softball playing Oaks Christ Oak Park on Tuesday at 3.30 p.m., and girls beach volleyball facing off against both Westlake, Calabasas, and Agora on Saturday at the Ventura Harbor. That does it for sports, so let's send it back to Forrest. 
Well, Panthers, that's all the time we have for today. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next time.